A snowy day in the birthplace of America. Welcome to Lincoln Financial Field on a chilly day in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Happy you're joining us for this exhibition matchup between the Philadelphia Eagles and the Washington Redskins. And Chris, as we get set here, the Eagles and Redskins have played each other a lot over the years, but their battles have been relatively low-key compared to the other NFC East showdown. And Gus, when you talk about great NFC East rivalries, you normally don't consider the Eagles and Redskins to be on an even par with some of the others. Still, when you meet twice a year, there are no niceties exchanged, and the hits are a little more satisfying. In recent years, these games... have enjoyed a heightened sense of competition and have become one of the most fun matchups to watch in the NFC. This one really should be a classic. All right, Chris, with that in mind, let's go down to the field. We are ready for football. He'll return it from the one. We'll get our first flag of the game. He makes it back to the 25. Number 42 was there for the stop. Boy, it's tough enough to try and stop an NFL offense, but when you give them extra chances, it is almost impossible. Jones on the give. And when your defensive line can handle their guys up front and not allow the offensive linemen to get down on the linebackers, it really gives those linebackers a chance to look great. Second down, 11 yards for first. Steps and throws to the left side. And the pass falls incomplete. Third down coming up after that incomplete pass. They're looking at a third down and 11. Ball on their own 12, and the ball on the 12. Has a man short to his left, and the pass is incomplete. Jackson is rocked, and it causes an incompletion. And you know you're going to get hit as a wide receiver. You've got to hang on to those balls, but that was a big shot. Down and the field goal unit is on the field. Nugent with a 24 yarder and is good. puts it straight through the uprights and good. Nugent made the easy three. Block zips it to the left sideline and it's and tipped incomplete. incomplete. Davis came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. That is their fourth batted ball. Tell you, we've seen a number of good defensive plays from this squad. We sure have. Second we'll see if they can keep it up, though. Ball at the Texans, 47-yard line. Number 12 first makes the catch out Texas. to the left and is well past the markers for a first down. Number 12 reels in the catch despite being covered by two defenders. Dan, I guess he just can't be intimidated. Check this out. Oh, yeah, it's all about being focused. He had his eye on the ball the whole time and knew where he had to be. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chain. Great execution. Brock really rifles this pass and Texas. the catch is made well past the markers for a first down. Number 87 had three guys covering him, but look what happens. Incredible catch. First down from the eye. Ball at the 19. Oh, my God. 
The ball's loose. They get it back. Jones touches him down for a big loss. Back at the 30. Number 65 recovered the ball, but this is an all-out terrible play for the offense. They get it back there, but <laughs> that's just dumb luck. Brock passes a high, long one, and it's not reeled in. Incomplete. Hopkins was open as you can get on that play, but couldn't make the grab. What a shame. That would have been a big play and a big first down, Peter. They just don't sync up. Good call. Maybe next time it'll work. It's intercepted. Out of bounds at the 26. That is looking to make a name for themselves in this matchup. Offense facing second down and goal now. He's dropped down around the 11 yard line by Hood. Ten yards away from the end zone. He's searching for a receiver. And he drops the short pick. And it'll be fourth down following the pass deflection. I don't know if that's the guy I want to pick on on third down when you have to have a conversion. He is tough. And the kicker is on to try this 28-yarder. The kick is good. Was on top of it and shut it down. Good denial there. Second down coming up. Second down, three wideouts in the game. Ryan punches this one left of center and chews up about four on the play. up about two and that will bring up fourth down complete fourth down coming up number 24 Andrew winged it into double coverage but luckily nobody was able to catch it Peter in third down situations they have not been successful at all with the pass this play was more proof boy third is such a crucial down Dan and when you don't convert it really hurts McAfee lines up for the punt McAfee gets the ball and punts it away Fields the deep punt at the 20. Tackled at the 32. Demps returned for a few there, but after that gigantic punt, it was like tearing a single page out of War and Peace. It doesn't make much of a dent. The Texans had their last drive stall out at the end. We'll see if they can keep momentum throughout this one, which starts at their 32-yard line. They couldn't connect on this one. Incomplete. Number 10 was the intended receiver. Number 52 with the cover. Brock is really struggling out there today. As you can see by the numbers, it's all bad. Up to now, he's got 34 yards and one interception. They're going Second and 10. Ball at the Texans, 32-yard line. Miller gets the call on second down and picks up a couple. Third down from the shotgun. Hot 
Hopkins. Grabs first the fastball Texas. over the middle, and they get the first on third and long. Yeah. Hopkins has a small crowd of defenders working him, and yet still makes the catch. There's the catch, and there were three guys around him. They say bad things come in threes, but that didn't seem like First that was bad at all. Maybe mildly oh, annoying, but definitely not bad. And I'll tell you what, he made that precision route look easy. Too easy, almost. And I'll tell you what, Dan, the D couldn't even hang with him there. Miller has his number called on first down and passes the line. Tackled at the 45. Second and six. Ball at the 45. Miller picks up about two, and that will bring up third down. Third down and four wideouts in the game. Miller gets the toss and runs into traffic, rips him down in the backfield, and that takes them even farther away from the markers. That will bring up fourth down. Don't let him kick it, D. Leckler gets ready to punt this away. <laughs> Leckler gets the snap and punts it away. Number 10 coming up here. Ball on their own 36. He's looking towards the left side. The pass falls incomplete. And the pass will fall incomplete. Fourth down coming up. Susie. Thank you, Dan. I just talked to the trainers, and they said he got poked in the eye. They're letting him try to shake it off down here, but it doesn't seem to be doing much good. They're listing his return as doubtful. Guys, back to you. Thanks, Susie. Third down, seven yards to go. Number 16 catches it in the flat, and he will be short of the markers. That will bring up fourth down. Number 27 shut down the ball carrier just before he got to the markers. A good game, but not good enough. Number 10 lines up to punt after the three and out. Number 10 takes the snap and punts it away. Johnson peels the punt at the 33. Turn of 13 on the play. Well, Peter, some interesting information up on the screen. Oh, you bet. Well, the turnover column has the grim news, in my opinion. If you want to win, you have to hold on to the ball. Johnson did a nice job getting some yards after fielding the solid punt. The Browns' offense has to score here. This drive will start at their 46-yard line. It's intercepted! Brought down at the 39. Kirkpatrick does a nice job picking off the pass there. He's got it, and he gets a little more with that nice little run back. That's their third interception of the game, and Peter, the D is homing in on the passing game. Yeah, tough play. I love it. The Bengals have had some trouble moving the ball recently. We'll see what they do on this drive as they start at the 39-yard line. Lyon takes up about two, and that will bring up second down. with the tackle. Second and eight. Ball at the 37. Brandon goes in motion. Number 85 hauls in the pass and gets past the markers for a first down. Number 85 down had Bengals. nobody on him. The quarterback saw it and got the ball to him. That's broken kind of a cold streak for him. The last Bengals. two passes his way ball were incomplete. Yeah, let's see if he stays on track. Dalton zings it to the right side and he first connects down, at the 17. Chase down at the 11. First down. First down, one man back. Ball at the 11. Intercepted. Tackled at the 
the five. Joe does a fantastic job breaking down the play and knowing where to be to intercept the pass. Having help in the zone really paid off for him. Boy, that was a heads-up play to come away with his first interception of the game. Yeah, you gotta love D like that. The Browns' offense has taken the field and they have been having a very tough time passing the ball. They have another opportunity here as they start off at their own five-yard line. Picks up a yard on the play, and that will bring up second down. Line and gets well past the markers for a first. Hey, if you check out this replay, you'll find a few examples of how these guys earn their paycheck week in and week out, baby. And hey, there's no better way of earning a paycheck than knocking a few heads down there on the field. Dorsett goes in motion. And throws a bullet to the flat and the reception is made for a pickup of maybe a yard. Number 23 had to leave the field earlier in the game and now Susie Calder has a report. Susie? Thanks, Dan. The trainers have just informed me that he's got a severe headache at the moment. They're tending to him right now. They fully expect him to get back into this one. Dan? Thanks, Susie. Number 33 number has his number called on carrier. second down and number maybe picks up one the on the play. Third down, seven. empty backfield. Ball at the 15. Andrew zings it to the right side and it's intercepted. Interception, Texan. Stopped at the 15. Number 90 takes time out of his busy schedule of smashing O-lines to make the pickoff. Wow, he may get the ball back and get it. It's fourth down. The Eagles are lining up to punt it away. Goes into the end zone for a touchback. And down by three points, this is excellent field position to at least tie the game and possibly take the lead. The offense will start at the 20. It's first and 10. Hands off. He's got room up the middle. He's dropped down at about the 39-yard line by number 53. First down and 10. Ball on their own, 39. Passes out to the left. This is close. Did he come up with it? So after conferring, they're going to say he was out of bounds. Well, let's give him some credit for making a great effort, but just unable to pull that one in. is out to his right. Looked like he had it, but it's knocked loose. Jackson got blasted and just couldn't hang on. And that was a good shot as a receiver. You've got to know you're going to take some hits. You just have to hold on to that ball. They're facing a third and ten. Looking for a man, has a man to his right. We'll probably see the punt unit here as that incompletion brings up. Howard into the... Hey, 
Gets the sack at the 48. Fourth down coming up. Pico got the sack, but he was totally on one. End up in one on one coverage, but you have to have time to throw the ball. Third down now, 10 yards for the first. Ball on their own 15. Fires a strike to the right. So the offense will probably head off the field after failing to convert for a first down on that series. Yeah, that series just never seemed to get off the ground. Nothing they tried there seemed to work. It's fourth down. The Eagles ready to punt this one away. Fields it, and he's hit immediately. Man, those guys were flying down the field. He didn't have a chance on that one. His blocker's got to do something for that poor guy out there. Or he's going to get killed. They'll set up shop at the 49-yard line. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Good coverage downfield. Looking. Fires it to the left. And he's tackled right around the 36-yard line by number 95. First down, 10 to go. Looks like someone on the offense tried to get an early All start. start. Offense. Boy, First it's down. tough enough to try and stop an NFL offense, but when you give them extra chances, it is almost impossible. First down, 15 to go, following the penalty. Here's the give. He's brought down at about the 41 by Logan. Now it's second and 15. Ball's on the 41. Jones takes the give. He's wrestled down around the 39-yard line by Barwin. It's now third and 12. Jones on the draw. He's tackled around the 36-yard line by Cox. They call on the field goal unit. The kick is no good. You always have a couple of issues coming into play when you're talking about the He was an ineligible. Number 40 goes in motion. Kirkpatrick makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. Kirkpatrick got himself in prime position to bat away that football before the receiver even had a shot at it. They have really gotten after the ball as a team today. That is their fifth batted ball. Nice, aggressive D. Number 10, right is an out left side and the completion is made. Short of the markers, however. Fourth down coming up. Jones let his man get some yards on the play, but then he stopped him. Let's check it out. 
Yeah, he saved the play by tackling him before the marker. There's a migraine waiting to happen for a <laughs> defensive coordinator. They almost gave it up. Yeah, but they didn't let him convert. It's still going to go to fourth down. Fourth and short. Fourth down, and the field goal unit is on the field. Parker boots it from 48 yards out, and he'll pin them deep at the two. McAfee finds the old coffin corner, as they like to say. <laughs> Heck, I like to say it, too. Out of bounds, and that's perfect. Buried them inside the five-yard line. The Texans offense comes out. They're backed against their goal, and they will start at their own two-yard line. Adams penetrates and stops that back at the one. Adams was a one-man wrecking crew back there. He powered into the backfield and made the tackle. Miller takes it off the toss and... Brought down, and that will be a safety. Jackson comes off the line like a hungry rhino looking for that safety. And he gets it, hitting him in the end zone for two. You can't coach that. That's his third tackle of the game. Leckler kicks this one away. Ferguson gets it at the 19. 35, tackled at the 39. That'll make it second down with 10 to go. On the ground, up the middle. He doesn't get back to the line. Well, that's what happens when defensively you get every gap covered. There is simply nowhere to go with the football. No chance for the running back that time. It's third down and 11 to go. Steps and throws to the left side. He's wrestled down around the 18-yard line by number 39. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Again with the run. He's tackled right around the 18-yard line by number 29. They line up at the 18. He's dropped down at about the 17-yard line by Murphy. Facing a third and eight situation. Ball on the 17. Sproles on the delay. And he's tackled right around the 14 yard line by Baker. This kick will be from 30 yards out. The kick is good. So after that kick, the score is now the Eagles, six. The Redskins, nothing.
Philadelphia is ready to kick this one off. Jackson is back to receive the kick. This will be down to the end zone for a touchback. In the passing game. Yeah, tough play. I love it. The Texans' offense has to score here. This drive will start at their own 29-yard line. Miller takes his 13th carry of the game and number and rambles for about five. Number, number 33 90, was shaken up earlier, and I, I hear Susie Culber has a report for us. Susie? Thank you, Dan. I got a quick word with the trainers, and they said that he's suffering from Second upper leg four. cramps. They're finishing a quick massage of the area, and it looks like he should be ready to come back in soon. Back to you, Dan. Thanks, Susie. Puller goes in motion. Miller is at the 45. Eventually right runs out of bounds oh, at the 45. Oh, first down. First and 10. Ball at the Texans, 45-yard line. Miller has his number called on first down and gains about three yards. Second down from the eye. Ball at the Texans, 48-yard line. Griffin reels in the football and is well past the markers for a first down. First and 10. Ball at the 38-yard line. Brock throws a heater, and this one is incomplete. Hopkins dropped the ball so fast there, you'd think it bit him on the thumb or something. Another incompletion out left, and it appears that side of the field has not been kind to them at all. Not at all. they, they got to go somewhere else, Second look for a different matchup. Ball at the 38-yard line. Miller will get the carry on second down and barely picks up the first down. First down, Texans. Miller sticks close to his blockers here. And it pays off. What a run, Peter, and his numbers are adding up. Adding up to one big number. Up to now, he's got 57 yards on 16 carries. First down, two wideouts on the field. Miller Number gains eight yards, and carrier. that brings up second down. With the tackle. Number 71 used every ounce of his big self to do some second key blocking on that last play. Peter, what a nice pickup to get them into a second and short situation. Yeah, great play, and now they have a bunch of options on what to try next. Miller carries it for a third time in a row and maybe picks up one on the play. Number 53 brought down the ball carrier before the markers. There was some gain there, but not enough for the first. That will be his fourth tackle of the contest. Lobs this one over the middle, first and down, the Texas. catch is made well past the markers for a first down. First down, goal to go. Ball at the seventh. Butler tips it away on the coverage, incomplete. Pass interference, number 52, defense. The ball is placed at the spot of the Jackson manhandled that receiver down. back there like a puppy playing with a chew toy, Dan. And he rightly got slapped with defensive pass interference. Let's Center. Keep out, First let's and keep goal. Out. Back, ball at the back, one. Down. 
Well, do you play run or flood the zone to disrupt the pass? You almost have to be both right here. And touchdown. touchdown. This is a nice run here. And when you watch the replay, Dan, check out his field vision. Tackle around the 24-yard line by Hart. So second down, the offense needs about four for the first. Jones, the ball carry. He's dropped down right around the 22-yard line by number 23. The offense needs about three yards to get the first here on third down. Handoff up the middle. And he's tackled around the 21-yard line by Curry. And the kicker on to try this 39-yarder. And he makes it. And with that, the score is the Redskins. Three, the Eagles, six. Grabs the bullet, and they get the first on third and long. Second and seven. Ball at the Bengals, 23-yard line. Hill chews up four yards, and that will bring up third down. Dalton lobs this one over the middle, and the ball's caught at the 29. Finally stopped at the 39. It will be first down. Number 85 really delivers on this play. Let's take another look first at the catch. There it is, but he's not done. He's going to make his way forward for extra yards. Oh, he's a go-to guy for sure. A nice First run after ten. making the grab, and that's Ball a big plus coming yards. from your tight end. Especially for him. He's not known for making those big gallops like that. First down, tight end to the left. Hill takes it across the line of scrimmage and chews up about four on the play. Second and five. Ball at the Bengals, 43-yard line. Hill has his number called on second down and will lose about a yard here. Number 51 was a one-man wrecking crew back there. He powered into the backfield and made the tackle. That will be his fourth tackle of the contest. Boy, he catches it over the middle, and they get the first on third and long. First down, and this is the seventh play of the drive. Hill gets the handoff and heads left. Stop at the 42. Number 41 with the tackle. Second and seven. Ball at the 42-yard line. Hill picks up about two, and that brings up third down. All right, what have you got? Okay, 
Dalton unloads this one to the left, and it's knocked away from the receiver, incomplete. Number 10 gets ready to punt this away. Number 10 takes the long snap and kicks what will be a short one. Johnson fields the punt and it off to begin the second half. Hunt catches it back at the two. Flips it out short to his left. He's wrestled down around the 23-yard line by number 95. Reed caught that one for a gain of six. Third down and 13 yards to go. Tucks and runs. He's free. He's tackled around the 30-yard line by Logan. Fourth down. The Redskins lining up to punt. Sproles gets the ball at the 27. You know, I like that return. Nothing flashy, but it was really effective. The thing I hate to see are guys that are dancing around back there trying to be a playmaker when they're really not. At least he got up the field, got a few yards. That's what I like to see. Has a man short to his left. He's dropped down around the 38-yard line by number 20. Number 17 made the catch for a gain of six. Checks down to the short pass. Number 17 was the intended receiver on the play. Just about four yards shy of the first here on third down. He's going to run with it. Shows the extra effort with a dive. Looked like the containment just broke down on that one, and they end up giving up the first. Defense is all about gap control. All you have to do is maintain your one gap. If one guy blows it, you can give up a big play like that. Second down now following the incomplete pass. from their own 48-yard line. Dumps it out left. Knocked loose before he could bring it in. Number 86 was his intended target.
Third down now, 10 yards for the first. Just a minute to go in this first half of play. Steps and throws to the left side. And that's one of those that the wideout goes back to the huddle. Thing. It is all that one in, and it falls. And then some. So far, he's four-yard line. We'll get the cap. Dalton. Number 85 faces down two defenders and comes away with the football. Oh, nice catch. They score again, and they are starting to pull away here. Yes, they are, Dan. They've got a nice pad now. If they stay focused, this game is theirs. Number two to attempt the extra point. Chase man. The spot of the foul. Gathers First grabs down. a little too much face mask on this play, and it costs him a flag. Let's watch. Yeah, it's only a five-yard penalty for this face mask. I'm pretty sure that was unintentional. Come on, D. We First and goal. Here. Ball at the three. Big play coming up. Strong runner in the backfield and a great receiver on the line. Miller Let's goes go right touchdown. up the middle and gets the touchdown. This is a nice run here. And when you watch the replay, Dan, check out his field vision. It's incomplete. On their own 20-yard line. He's looking down the middle. Throws. And that will be a three and out for the offense after that incompletion. Yeah, they just kind of looked out of sync from the very beginning there. And I thought first down really set the tone for that entire series. It's fourth down. The Redskins ready to punt this one away. Sproles gets it at the 41. I'm sure they would have liked to have gotten a little better return out of him there. Yeah, that certainly wasn't one of his best efforts there. Maybe if he would have gotten a little more help from his blockers, he could have broken one out of there. You know, sometimes it just takes one good block to create a seam to get one up the field. Looks left. Here's a short pass. Number 17 was the intended. Scott. Eight to nothing. Third and goal. Ball at the one. Dalton ropes this to the end zone and it's tipped. Incomplete. That will bring up fourth and goal. Fourth down, goal to go. Nugent from 18 yards and down. 
Aaron getting that one. A nice defensive play will give him his second batted ball of the game. Yeah, great read there. Number 27 to make the return. McAfee lines up to punt after the three and out. McAfee takes the long snap and punts it away. Demps fields the deep punt at the 31. Tackled at the 41. Demps returned for a few there, but after that gigantic punt, it was like tearing a single page out of War and Peace. It doesn't make much of a dent. The Texans will start a drive with the lead for the first time in this game. They'll begin at their 41 yard line. Miller will get the handoff and gains about three yards. Second and seven. Ball at the Texans, 44-yard line. Hopkins catches it over the middle, and that's a gain of seven on the play. Brock lived dangerously on that play with a pass into double coverage, but the throw was on target. What a pass. That's another pass that went pretty much down the middle. He hasn't been working the sides too much. Well, he's obviously very confident to be throwing into where all the traffic is. He's daring the D to stop him. Miller has his number called on third down and is dropped short of the markers. It'll be fourth down. Leckler gets the ball and punts it away. Rodgers gathers it up at the seven. Touchdown at the five. Fair catch interference. Number 32, offense. 15-yard penalty from the spot. Nelson the made contact First on down. that play after a fair catch signal was clearly made, so he got the call for interference. He just can't do that. First the Colts have had some trouble moving the ball recently. We'll see what they do on this drive as they start at their own 29-yard line. Andrews tips it to the left sideline and he hits his man for a pickup of nine. Number 24. Allen was really getting crowded out there with three defenders, but he still made the catch. A lot of short completions Second like that one. today, Peter, where they get Ball stopped the right uh, soon after line. the catch. Yeah, if you can't make anything happen after the catch, those short throws are useless. Number 33 loses one on the play, and that brings up third down. Number 59 was a one-man wrecking crew back there. He powered into the backfield and made the tackle. That will be his fourth tackle of the contest. Third down, one man back. Andrew throws a heater, and they can't connect. Incomplete. With the deflection. Browns fumbled the ball away last time. Let's see if they can hold on to it as they start this drive at the 31-yard line. Williams hammers the receiver and forces him to drop the ball in the knee just. Short throw to the right. He gets knocked out of bounds at the 30. And so far in this one, as you can see, this player has been the impact performer of the game so far. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Going down the middle with it. It's almost picked off. Number 17 was the intended receiver on the play. Second down and seven yards to go. Ah! 
He's tackled right around the 32-yard line by Foster. Might want to start thinking of a different approach as this running game has been ineffective. They need eight on third down to move the chains. They spot it at their own 32. He's dropped down around the 33-yard line by number 39. It's fourth down. The Eagles are lining up to punt this one away. Ross fields the ball at the 34. Man, those guys were flying down the field. He didn't have a chance on that one. His blocker's got to do something for that poor guy out there. He's going to get killed. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own, 37. They get to him in the pocket and bring him down for the sack. Brings up second down and about 12 yards to go. They're on their own 35. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. And he's tackled right around the 42-yard line by Hicks. So it's third down. The offense will need about four yards to pick up the first. Flips out short. He's brought down around the 49-yard line by Jenkins. And we'll have a first down and 10. Has a man to his right. He's wrestled down around the 41 yard line by Hicks. Pass completed for a gain of eight. Only a yard needed to convert here on second down. Throws to his left. Crowder was his intended target. His part. Backer position and he's got it. Number 10 takes the long snap and punts it away. Own end zone for the punt. Leckler gets the ball and punts it away. Rogers fields the punt at the 49. That's all it takes in this game. He escapes the sack, searching downfield. He's tackled at about the 31 by Cox.
And two yards away here on second down. Jones on the run. He's dropped down at about the 27 by Barwin. They line up at the 27. Dumps it out right. Crowder was the intended receiver. That'll make it second down with 10 to go. And he's tackled around the 13-yard line by number 23. It's first and 10. On the inside handoff. Did you see how fast that linebacker was on that one? Not only did he recognize it, but when he did recognize it, he had the explosiveness to get there. The goal line, only a dozen yards away now. is out to the left. Garcon hauls it in, but is it good? The officials will huddle. They give him the score. And this is for the lead. Extra point is good. Washington with a one-point lead. Interceptor. Drag down at the 36. Nelson does a fantastic job breaking down the play and knowing where to be to intercept the pass. Having help in the zone really paid off for him. Another interception for his stats today. And I, I tell you, I can't remember when I've seen a defensive performance like this. This guy's rewriting history. The Texans are going to try and capitalize on the interception. They'll start this drive at their 36-yard line. Brock rifles it out left side, and it's intercepted. Tackled at the 46. Maybe 25% of it. Which is a great tip if you're working at a truck stop diner, but not so great if you're trying to catch football. They were in a high-pressure situation there, Peter, with the fourth down conversion, and they could not get it. They just didn't gel on that play. They'll turn it over now. The Bengals' offense takes the field, and can they capitalize on the defensive stop? Well, they'll start this drive at the 40-yard line to with school on that last play, making the catch with relative ease. That's broken kind of a cold streak for him. The last two passes his way were incomplete. Yeah, let's see if he stays on track. Number 33 will get the carry on second down and moves forward for seven. Third down and less than a yard. Ball at the 37. Number 33 carries it off the toss and runs out of bounds past the markers. 
Number 33 raced wide on that play, got the first, and then slipped out of bounds. Great job. A big gain on third, and they will easily move the chain. Perfect call for the situation, Dan. No trouble in getting the first. Andrew throws a high, long one to the right, and it's caught for the go-ahead touchdown. Touchdown. Andrew throws right past the coverage and into his receiver's hands. Nice throw. They take the lead on that touchdown, Peter, and they have to be happy with their performance on that drive. Yeah, great calls and great execution. Here's the extra point, and the extra point is it's good. good. There's the signal, and we're ready. Vinatieri rockets this one deep. Hunt downs this in the end zone for a touchback. As a quarterback, you have to go through your reads. That was his first look on that play, and he shouldn't have stayed with it that long. That was a bad decision. Third down and 12 to go. So the ball on the 49. Checks down to the short pass. He's dropped down around the 43-yard line by number 42. About six yards on the play. Fourth down. The Redskins line up to punt. A of the drive. Toss and... He runs into traffic. The Browns take a timeout. That's their final one. Get Dan, but they were right sideline, and the Texas. catch is made well past the markers for a first down. First and ten. Ball at the 46-yard line. <laughs> Miller carries this one off to the right and picks up a couple. Okay, what's the plan? Okay, let's go. Second down, two receivers to the left. At the 44 yard line. Block, throws a bullet, and the reception's made at the 36. Eventually tackled at the 32. It will be first down. Fuller made a superb catch, even though he had first three guys closing in on him. Ball what a play. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chain. Great execution. <laughs> Miller gets the call on first down and only gets back to the line of scrimmage. Jones was a one-man wrecking crew back there. He powered into the backfield and made the tackle. You can't slalom around him like a downhill skier would, Peter. He's going to swallow you up. Yeah, got to be a cross-country skier that time to get around him. He is a load out there. Brock zings it to the right side, and the catch is made for a gain of a couple. Fuller took his lone defender to school on that last play, making the catch with relative ease. Another short catch, and that's where they've been utilizing him today. Yeah, the short routes have been open, and he's been exploiting it. Number 87 bobbles and drops it incomplete. It'll be fourth down. Number 87 looked like he was all over that one, but it just got away somehow. Tough incompletion. That's his first drop of the game, and while every drop does hurt, you can't throw too much blame on him for that one. That would have been a tough catch. 
Fourth down, and the field goal unit is on the field. Number eight boots it from 47 yards out and has it sailed just left of the upright. A bit more. Hit it to the right side, down, and they Brown. convert the big fourth down play. <laughs> Number six spikes the ball, and that will stop the clock. Second down, the clock is stopped at six. Larry, Larry, good, good, good. Down. I got 19. Set. Black, 43. Black, 43. Number six. Rifles this one hard over the middle, and it is not reeled in. Incomplete. Number 21. Did a beautiful job on that last play covering the post route. That pass never had a chance. Incomplete. On second down, they try for the first, but it's played well by the defense. That will bring up third down. Nice pressure that time. Down. Set. Go. <laughs> Number 11 catches it over the middle, and they get the first on third and long. Demps did a nice job getting some yards after fielding the solid punt. The Texans had their last drive stall out at the end. We'll see if they can keep momentum throughout this one, which starts at their own 23-yard line. Miller gets the handoff and searches for a hole. Jackson tackles him behind the line of scrimmage. Jackson was a one-man wrecking crew back there. He powered into the backfield and made the tackle. Another tackle, and he's starting to fill up the stat book. He is dominating, Dan. So far, he's got eight tackles. Brock just rifles this one, and incomplete. it's tipped incomplete. Adams swatted that one away cleanly. The receiver didn't have a prayer in getting that one. Another batted ball, and they have been attacking the pass every chance they get. That's right, Dan. You know, why simply defend the pass when you can obliterate it? Complete. It'll be fourth down. In this final. Short throw to the right. He's wrestled down right around the 44 yard line by number 20. Number 18 picks up about maybe four yards with the catch. They line up at the 44. He's going to his right. Throws. Tip pass, and it's picked off. And they really could have done without that. Just when you started to think this offense was starting to find themselves, they have a chance here late in the game. You throw an ugly pick. That's a disaster. Susie? What do you think was the critical factor in getting the W? Yeah, you know, we just stuck to our game plan today. You know, our coaches did a great job getting us ready, and I think their in-depth scouting gave us an edge in the end. Chris, back to you. That concludes
Hi there, I'm Chris Berman. Up next on ESPN, we'll take a look at a guy that action fake, and this one is incomplete. Number 13 was the intended Hilton receiver. looked like he was all over that one, but it just got goal. away somehow. Tough incompletion. That's his first drop, and it is not often you see that from him. Third no, normally five. he's pretty sure-handed there. Whoa, look at all the interceptions there. Rodgers goes in motion. Jordan will get the carry on third down, down and four. stiff arms his way to a first down. Jordan threw a wicked stiff arm on that play to keep things going. You know, it's all about separating from a would-be tackler and picking up the extra yardage. Nice play, and they will convert on third. Great execution, Dan. They did everything right. First down, and they line up with three tight ends. Number 33 awesome takes it for his 17th carry and ends up losing about three. Demps not only cleaned the ball carrier's clock in the backfield, but buffed and polished it too. Big hit for a loss. That will be his fourth tackle, and he's hitting hard out there in the secondary. Well, he's making them think twice before going his direction. Second down, both tight ends left. Number three. The Texans take their first time out. Third down. The clock is stopped at 157. Number 33 dodges this one. The Texans will take a timeout. That's their second. Yeah, that's it. Adam Benatieri. Fourth down. Attempt. Nine yards Number to go. 16, holding. Benatieri kicks from 38 yards out and just makes it inside the left upright. Adam Vinatieri gets the field goal, but watch how close the ball gets to the upright. Man, a few more inches and he'd have made the highlight reel. Not the way he would have wanted to, though. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Vinatieri kicks this one away. Demps fields the kickoff at the 5. Brought down at the 28. Demps was able to find some weak spots in the defense. Got a good run back off that kick. First well, look at those steps. Houston. That's how to punch it in on the ground. It's intercepted. intercepted. Tackled at the 35. Gathers took the football back for a little gain after he picked it off. He was hoping for more, but, you know, he'll take it. Yet another interception for this defense, and they're making passing just about impossible so far. Absolutely. Great reads, great jumps on the ball, great athletes. It's all happening down there. The Colts' offense is on the field, and they can wrap up the game. They'll start at the 35-yard line. Number 23 will take the handoff and heads left. The Texans take a timeout. That's their final one. Second and eight. Ball at the 34-yard line. Well, that loss will bring up third down, but they can't be too worried about it. They're still eating up the clock. Third and ten. Ball at the 36-yard line. 
No sign of hurry from the offense. They're going to take it slow here, Dan. They're concerned with one thing right now, and that's the clock. Dan, I want to point out something on that last play. Did you notice the job he did in letting the play clock wind all the way down before snapping the ball? That's good clock management. Good. That's negative yards. Number one. McAfee gets ready to punt this away. Number 27 to make the return. McAfee takes the long snap and punts it away. Demps fields the punt at the 11. Tackled at the 19. Demps made a puddle jumper of a punt look even punier with that nice run back. The Texans will start this drive deep in their own territory with the clock at 9. Rifles it out right side, and the ball's caught at the 29. First down from the shotgun. And that is going to do it for this one. The Colts come out on top, 19 to 14. For my partner, Peter O'Keefe, this is Dan Stevens saying goodbye until next time. Enjoy this one. We'll get you next time. We'll get you next time. We have an injured Redskins player. We'll pause while he gets over to the sideline. Line up as the defense settles into a nickel package. Howard picks up a yard on the play, and that will bring up second down. Okay, all right. Second and eight. Ball at the Bears 39 yard line. Number 81 goes in motion. Howard gets the call again and heads out right. The 35, 25, 15. Brought down hard at the four. It'll be first and goal. Howard just slams through the D on this one. Big play. Oh, that charge was like a stampede. The defense can't do anything on that but get flattened. Peter, those were some nifty moves to get free. In that matchup, he doesn't even need to dig down that deep to pull it off. Go right, First and goal. Ball at the full yard line. Number 12 throws touchdown a heater there. and it's Come caught on. for a touchdown. Brown makes the catch with three defenders on his case. I just don't know why uh, the throw was made into triple coverage. Hey, it worked. Yes, it did. He gets the touchdown, Peter, and that was a Connor, very a nice play. Oh, definitely. Number 84, holding. Now the extra point, and... The extra point is good. It's good. Seven-yard line. First down and 10. Ball is on the 47. They'll go with the run once again. Drop behind the line. You know, listen, I, I would
I'm Chris Berman. Ahead on ESPN, they love their football here in the Volunteer State, so it's no surprise the way the state took to the... I don't know if that's the guy I want to pick on on third down when you have to have a conversion. He is tough. Fourth down. The Eagles ready to punt this one away. And they already have the lead. This field position could set them up to put even more points on the board. I'll tell you what. Takes off. He's on the horizon before you can blink. A talented duo to be certain. They just might make the difference out there. Okay, Peter, we'll see how they do once the game begins. But first, the toss of the coin. Still associate receivers with speed. But right here, height was what did it. First down, 10 yards to go. Number 25 takes it across the line and picks up a couple. Number 25 got some help on that one in the form of no patient with his routes. They line up at the 36. Flips it out short to his left. He's brought down right around the 24-yard line by Brooks. First down, 10 to go. Jones on the run. He's wrestled down right around the 14-yard line by number 22. And we'll have a first down in 10. It's first and 10. Two minutes left in the ball game. Jones gets the ball. He's tackled around the four yard line by number 53. Four yards will get them in for the score. Jones on the handoff, showing some moves, and he's in. And this is going to make it tough for any type of comeback now. Yeah, that was a place in the game where the defense absolutely had to make something happen, and they just couldn't pull anything out. Up second down. Next, incomplete. Green looked like he was all over that one, but it just got away somehow. Tough incompletion. That would have gotten the first, but it's incomplete, and it will be third down. Well, Dan, we got an empty backfield, five receivers, and the defense is in their dime. Let's watch. Lattimore catches the heater right, left yeah. sideline, oh, and they get the first day. on third first and long. Franco. Lattimore easily overcomes the double coverage to nab the football. Perfect synchronization by the quarterback and the receiver. Way to get open. It was third and long, but it didn't phase them. They moved the ball, and now they move the chain. Yeah, really nice play calling, Dan. 
Thomas goes in motion. Simon passes this one after the play action, and it's knocked away from the receiver incomplete. Number 30 didn't let much daylight get between him and his assignment. Nice coverage to force the incompletion. And, Peter, you know, we talk a lot about defenders needing to make a play, and there you have it, or as the French would say, voila. <laughs> you said it. On D, you're taught to look for the ball when it's in the air, and that's exactly what he did. Nice play. Second down with the tight end right. Sanders catches first it over down. the middle, oh. and he's got the first down and a whole lot more. Yeah. Sanders tutors his man on the finer points of coverage on this play. A nice catch, but also a nice move to shake the coverage. He owned that matchup. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chain. Great execution. Ball at the 22-yard line. Booker gets the handoff and heads left. Pop Number hard at the 19. Number 59 with the tackle. I see counter, Second and I see seven. Counter. Ball at the 19. Green goes in motion. Number 23 tips it away on the coverage incomplete. Number 23 came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. On second down, they try for the first, but it's played well by the defense. That will bring up third down. Nice pressure that time. Third down, coming up on the 10th play of the drive. Simon throws a heater and it's tipped incomplete. Ineligible receiver downfield, number 61, offense. The penalty is declined. Incomplete pass. Yeah, go, Fourth down, and the field goal eight. unit is on the field. Number four, holding. McMahon kicks from 36 the yards out. A threat to take it all. He is wanting to go deep with it. Incomplete pass, number 17, the intended target. Titans stalled early last drive, and we'll have to wait and see what happens here. They'll start at their own 28-yard line. Number 29 will get the carry up. That'll make it second down with 10 to go. Looks left. Here's a short pass. It looks like there's a penalty. Holding. And he's tackled Offense. around the 24-yard line. By number 20. Looked like someone got caught holding. Here's the official call. Number 86 gets called for the hold. Brings up second down and about 12 yards to go. The ball is on the 39-yard line. Going up towards the end zone. Turner was his intended target. Tattooed on the inside of his helmet. You know, as a team... They are batting down passes.
Wait. Ropes this one to the end zone and... The training camps were done backwards. They always start with the simple protections, the simple plays. If I were coaching on day one, all I would do is practice picking up blitzes. If you can pick up blitzes, you can block anything. Interception. Douglas Bronco. tackles him for a touchback. Second down, goal to goal. Looking, fires it to the left. It's picked off, and that ought to do it. The Redskins have honed in on this pass attack and now have three picks from their own three-yard line. Here's the give. He's brought down around the 14-yard line by Graham. That'll wrap it up from Philadelphia. The game's top highlights are next. And let's take a look at the Gatorade Performer of the Game.